Once considered a rising star in Niagara County's legal and political circles, D'Angelo pled guilty earlier this year to sex crimes involving several women, including one who was underage. He was stripped of his law license and sentenced to six months in jail by a judge who also said he'd have to register as a sex offender. As he nears the end of his incarceration, today's hearing was to determine what level sex offender he'd have to register as. Uh, Dave, there's three categories of registration, level one being the lowest, uh, up to level three. Two on your side, legal analyst Justin Ginter. Level one being the lowest has a 20-year requirement for registration. Level two and three are lifetime requirements for registration. Due to the nature of his crimes, D'Angelo here was designated a level three. And the other very important part about that is as a level one, you're not on the DCJS website. As a level two and three, you are on that website and uh, your picture is up there and anybody can access that website. It's an example of how when it comes to certain crimes, there's pretty much no shaking it, even after someone is released from custody. Well, you do have the option uh, under the corrections law to come back at a later date and challenge that score or challenge that level and de or designation. Something D'Angelo's lawyer indicated in court he would do before his client was taken back to serve out the rest of his sentence. On your side in Lockport, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.